We all know you're supposed to go to the hospital to get better, right? But what if you got there and then picked up a new and dangerous, deadly bacteria? Our Dr. Bruce is here right now with this exclusive report on a new superbug that is apparently very hard to kill. Very hard to kill and spreading like wildfire. It is called C. difficile, difficile, difficult. It may be harder to treat even than staph infections. Now, some are calling it hospital's deadly little secret because it's not always reported and many people don't know about it. Now you do, and the man you're about to see nearly died from it. I went to bed one night and thinking, well, I'm not going to wake up tomorrow morning. It was degrading. I couldn't work. It was just lay in bed. Every 15 to 20 minutes, I had to jump up or run to the bathroom. E.L. Woody, one of the world's best-known paparazzi, was suffering from an infection caused by a bacteria called C. difficile. It's one of the new superbugs. Super because antibiotics may not be able to kill it, but it's killing us more than it ever did. It's gone up 50 to 100 percent over the last five to 10 years. The numbers may be even higher than that because hospitals are not required to report every case of C. diff since the bacteria lives harmlessly in some people's intestines. It may change from harmless to dangerous for a completely preventable reason. And the primary risk factor is exposure to antibiotics. That's because antibiotics wipe out good bacteria that normally protect against C. diff. So the first preventive step, never insist on strong antibiotics. Other steps may be necessary as well because C. diff has mutated. It's changed to become stronger and deadlier than ever. Bacteria make these spores and they're easily gotten either from one person to another or through contamination of environmental surfaces. So your second preventive step should be rigorous hand washing. Woody says Cedars did not do that for him. These guys aren't gloving, they're not washing, they're not cleaning. A spokesman for Cedars said Cedars Sinai has highly rigorous standards and programs to fight hospital acquired infections. As a result, both compared with hospitals throughout California and nationally, Cedars Sinai has a notably low rate of hospital acquired infections. Studies show we may have to go a step further to really control C. diff. Now this hall right next to the lab has been washed down many times with antiseptic cleaners, including ammonia. And are hospitals all doing it? I don't know if they're all doing it. When you go into a hospital, you have an increased risk of some of the serious uh, infections that primarily exist within hospitals. Which is why your third preventive step should be to know the symptoms, abdominal pain, fever, severe unrelenting diarrhea, and weakness. If you get those symptoms, get help immediately. We have new methods to treat C. diff. It may save your life. Woody was one of the lucky ones. It took me almost two years to fully recover, be able to get back to work and feel good. I had lost 92 pounds. You can see I'm back up now. but. Uh, I was uh, horrible, and I, it just about ruined me. But it does not have to ruin you. If you're hospitalized, take our three steps and ask if the hospital isolates C. diff patients and cleans with bleach. We need better reporting and control of this dirty little secret. It'll help you leave the hospital feeling better than when you walked in. I want to see things change. More reporting, more tracking. More cleaning. Yeah, but Bruce, even if you report and they're, and they're not doing the cleaning, is something going to get done? Yeah, well, if you report, you track it better, you understand better what the infections are, why they occur, and it helps you know where and how to clean. So reporting, mandatory reporting, and more cleaning consistently. We're not saying uh, Cedars did not. Let's be clear about that. Okay. So mandatory cleaning, bleach that they use in Europe and in Canada, crucial. Do right. you have to identify C. diff if you're a hospital and you have it? Well, it may not be infectious. You do have to identify the infectious form, and that can be done with new tests. Ask about them. All right, Dr. Bruce. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome.